Okay, today is uh, September uh, 4th, 2015, and this is an update uh, on uh, Tropical Storm uh, Kevin right here, which has uh, moved on to, uh, moved over Baja, California, and up into uh, Mexico. Uh, the storm did not take a left turn as the uh, National Hurricane Center had forecasted. Uh, because of all this high pressure, it forced it uh, straight through in a north uh, northeast direction. All right. Now at the same time, we have a uh, another high pressure over here that was moving very quickly across uh, Mexico to uh, to bulldoze this storm back out to sea, uh, but that never quite really happened uh, because this uh, high pressure was so strong. And so uh, what's happening here right now is that this high pressure and this high are actually pinching this storm, and it's moving. Uh, in a north northeast direction and we can see a blast pattern here they're continuing to hit the storm uh, with a transmitter right here and uh, we can see uh, that happening up close here in a second there's another disturbance down here that's uh, a forecast to become a uh, a, a tropical storm here in a, in a few days so we'll keep an eye on that uh, here's a large thunderstorm right here that is uh, uh, moving uh, towards the uh, flow of kevin in the same pattern this is uh, shaping up to be a sort of a, uh, a clockwise moving pinwheel like we've seen before. Uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on this and see what develops. But this high pressure that was built in the last uh, two days has kept this storm from making any turns out towards the west. All right, so let's go ahead and look at this in the, uh, this is the southwest um, <clears throat> water vapor loop. And we can see quite a blast uh, pattern right here. On this outer edge of the storm, okay, as it moves uh, over Baja California and up into uh, the corner of Mexico, and uh, tonight on the uh, television news, uh, the Los Angeles weather, uh, they were forecasting possible thunderstorms for California, but uh, we'll have to uh, wait and see if that actually happens. This is a very strong uh, flow, as we were just seeing back uh, over here. Very strong flow that's uh, pushing everything uh, generally to the, uh, the east. Actually, this is sort of wrapping around here. But the point is, is that uh, California may be dry. You're forecasting uh, a you know, chance of thunderstorms, but we'll have to wait and see what happens on that. Let's go look at the uh, infrared loop, and we can see this storm implode. You're uh, continuing to hit it, and as it moves over land, uh, the intensity of the rain uh, drops, and the core uh, is uh, all deformed. It's it's basically uh, uh, diminishing in strength. Okay, and here is the uh, visible light mode. We can see uh, some of the same patterns here. Take a look at that for a second. Okay, so this is just a quick update uh, on uh, Tropical Storm Kevin. This is the uh, larger Northeast Pacific uh, map infrared loop. Okay, we still have rem remnants of uh, Ignacio here. We've got uh, this one down here, which is uh, <laughs> Imena. Almost forgot the name. Hurricane Imena. And Kilo over here. Kilo is still a very big storm. All right, a lot of red uh, core there. Okay, now Hawaii escaped a, uh, a bullet again. A couple of bullets. We had another tail of uh, Ignacio was spinning uh, counterclockwise, but overnight they blasted that, and there's no longer any rotation. Let's go ahead and look at that in the uh, water vapor loop. There's no rotation down here at all. They blasted this overnight. And uh, this, all this steam here is the residual uh, of that blast, water vapor and steam and everything. So the tail of this was uh, spinning down here. We had a lot of thunderstorms right over Hawaii, and they killed all that off last night, overnight. Okay, so that's it. And we'll, uh, this will be uh, part three for today, and we'll do another one tomorrow.